Miss Steel here. So this week we're talking about space and we're talking about scale. Space is how far away or how close something is to us. So if something's closer to us, it's going to be bigger. And if we want something to look farther away in our art, it's going to be smaller. Scale is how big or how little something is. So we're going to be using both for this project. We're going to be making kind of 3D forests with mountains. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And we're going to be using space and scale. So what you want are two white pieces of paper. I have an extra scrap piece of paper. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add some details at the end if I want to. You want a pencil and an eraser. You want something to color in with. I'm going to be using markers and crowns today. And then you want scissors. And then I would recommend tape, but if you don't have tape, you can use glue instead. And I'll show you what we're going to do when we need these. So I'm going to move some of these papers out of the way because I don't need them yet. But the first thing we want to do is we want to fold our two white papers in half. So instead of folding them long ways like this, we're going to fold them like this. And what you can do is you can match up the corners, hold it down with one hand, and then press it down with the other. So I have already done that. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up taping these together, and we're going to make it look like it's 3D like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to decorate the inside, then the outside, the inside, and then the outside. But we're going to start with this one first because it's going to be in the back. So the first thing we want to do for our forest is we're going to make a sky on one half, mountains on one half, a forest or garden, and then in the front we're going to kind of make a fence and we can add in some people if we want to. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw out my sky. And you can add whatever you want to your sky. I'm just going to add a few clouds. And to do that, I'm going to make some bumpy circles like this. So I'm going to add in a few clouds in my sky like this. And what I'm going to do around it is I'm going to color in the rest. I could color it blue. Here, let me lower the brightness on this so you can see better. There you go. You could color it in blue if you want. You could color it in as a sunset. You could even color it in as a rainy day if you wanted to. So I'm going to get my background colored in, and then we're going to move on to this side, the front side, and we're going to turn this into some mountains. So I'm going to get this colored in, and then we'll move on to our next step. So I folded it, and on the inside, I'm coloring it in all blue with my clouds. All right, so I have my clouds all decorated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it like this, and then I'm going to draw some mountains. So to draw some mountains, and you don't want to draw them all the way to the top, so I'm going to draw a line about as long as my knuckle. Is that a knuckle? this part of your hand down and i'm going to start drawing some mountains and i'm going to draw them towards the top of this line and i'm going to draw them using kind of wavy triangles like that and i could even draw some a little bit lower if i wanted to to add more mountains in but those are going to be my mountains you can make your mountains whatever color you would like I think I'm going to make my mountains purple just to kind of change it up a little bit. So we do not need to color above the mountains because I'm going to show you what we're going to do at the end of this. So I'm going to get my mountains all colored in. I'm going to make some little wiggly lines at the top. So I'm going to get my mountains colored in and then I will show you our next step. I'm just outlining them first so I can get them ready to color in. So I'm going to get these colored in and then I'll show you what we're going to do before we move to our next step. Alright, so I have my mountains colored in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and right here on the folded line I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to cut out around my mountains. So I didn't cut all the way down, I just cut down to where my mountains kind of started. And now I'm cutting off that top part that's white. Because we just colored in our mountains, but we didn't color in the other stuff. 
So now whenever you look at it, you can see your clouds behind. And whenever we set it all up, we can kind of pop it out like that. So this part's done. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to grab my next white paper. And what I'm going to do inside this one is a little above halfway, I'm going to draw a line like that. And then I'm going to decorate this one with a bunch of different trees. So whatever kind of trees you want to add is kind of up to you. But I'm going to show you a few different ways you can draw some different styled trees. The first one is triangle shaped trees, so evergreens. And what I like to do is I'll start out with a skinny triangle like that. And then I'll go back and I'll draw a line down the middle. And then I'll add little curved lines coming out like this. And then I'll color it in. And I'm going to draw little stumps for my trees. And then maybe some grass here at the bottom like that. Another easy way to draw a tree is drawing a big bumpy circle like that. And then drawing two curved lines on the side. And then if you want, you could go back in and draw two straight lines next to each other to look like branches. And I add little bumps on the top. I'm going to draw some trees in the background like this as well. So I'm going to keep drawing some trees in here. And then anywhere there's not a tree, I'm going to color it in blue. So I'm going to keep adding in some trees on here. And then I'll show you our next steps. So I'm going to get this all colored in. And then what we're going to end up doing is cutting off this top part right here. So I'm going to get these trees colored in. And then if you look, each time it's getting smaller and smaller because it's like this is closer to us. So I'm going to get this colored in, and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so I got my forest all decorated, and again, I'm going to cut off around the top, trying to get all of the white spots out. You can see I added in some smaller trees, so I have some bigger trees where they're closer, some smaller trees in the background. And I am going to cut off the top of this like this and cut right down so now whenever I put it right here it's gonna have another layer to it so I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna draw my last straight line and I'm gonna draw it towards the bottom right here and what I can do underneath here is I can draw some bushes, I could draw flowers, I could draw a little fence. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of each of those. I think I'm going to start with drawing a fence and to do that, I start out with two straight lines next to each other and then a little triangle on top, just like that. I think I'm going to draw in some flowers. You could also add people in here if you want, but I think I'm going to draw a fence and some bushes just using kind of um, bumpy circles like I did for the top of my trees. And then once I have these drawn, I go back and I add two straight lines like this so it looks like they're connected. And then I'm going to go in behind and I'm going to add some bushes in behind using kind of bumpy lines like I did for the top of my trees. And then I think I'm also going to add in some flowers next to my bushes. So I'm going to draw some bushes in behind here, behind my fence, and then in between I'm going to add in some flowers. So I'm going to add in some small flowers kind of right here behind my fence. I could even draw my flowers a little bit bigger if I wanted to and make them kind of taller flowers, like maybe a flowery bush. So I would recommend adding a fence and then you can add in flowers or bushes 
or whatever you really like here in the front. But you want it to be right towards the bottom because what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this top area and then we are going to put this all together and then it'll be all stacked up like that. So I have my two bushes on this side that I drew and now I'm adding in a bunch of flowers like it's a flower field. So I'm going to get these colored in and then we're going to look at this once I have it all colored in and then we'll put it all together, which is why we needed the glue or the tape. All right, so our last step is going to be cutting out our flowers. So I'm just cutting around them the best I can. I added a bunch of flowers down here at the bottom and then I added two bushes on the side. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it down like that. And now I have this extra paper that I could use to draw some stuff if I wanted to add some stuff in behind here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to open this one like this. And I'm going to tape these together right here. If you don't have tape, you could use glue and you could just glue them right along right there. I'm going to take a clear piece of tape and then I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my mountains. And then I'm going to bring it around like that and press it down. And then I'm going to tape all the way up until I get to the top of my trees. Squeeze it around. And now I have my own 3D forest and garden. We drew our clouds and then we drew our mountains and then we drew our forest and then we drew the front of it. And what I could do is I could go back and use this extra paper that I cut off and I could draw any sort of animals I want to add in. I could draw some people and I can put them back here. I could put them back here. Or you could even draw something and put it in the clouds if you wanted to back here. But I think I'm going to leave mine just like this because I think it looks really fun like this. And it opens up and it closes. So the things that are farthest away are our clouds and our mountains. And then we have our forest that we drew. And then our flowers here with the fence in the front. I can't wait to see how yours come out. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye!